San Francisco and Oakland Bay are connected via a bridge in the United States. Locals refer to this bridge as the Bay Bridge. The bridge has been in use for a long time. It was finished in 1936. Next to the Gulf Bridge, the American government plans to construct a brand new bridge. The original bridge was destroyed because American businesses dared not take on the vulnerable due to the difficulty. Only $7.2 billion may be spent by the U.S. to enlist China's assistance. Sino-U.S. relations are not cordial, as is well known. So why is China being sought after by the United States? To know more, watch the video through to the end. Also, don't forget to subscribe. China, which has the most extensive transportation network worldwide, is the current infrastructure madman, whereas the United States was the previous one. At the time, it was the tallest structure in the world. It was the world's longest suspension bridge up until 1957. At the time, the United States had a much larger infrastructure than other nations in the world. China has also overtaken the United States, which was once the biggest superpower in the world. Up until this point, China and the United States were the only sources of assistance for the erstwhile infrastructure madmen. The Oakland Bay Bridge, one of the biggest bridges in the world, was built in the United States in the last century. Even with the assistance of other nations, it wasn't able to finish it and eventually found China. The bridge was totally reconstructed by China, and they even managed to preserve four for the US. Building a bridge over San Francisco Bay had been contemplated since at least 1869. Numerous proposals, however, were put out but ultimately rejected because of San Francisco Bay's excessive width and depth. Many obstacles were summoned at this time, and numerous world records were established, including the largest bridge cantilever at the time and the world's longest transportation board tunnel, among others, in 1936. The Bay Bridge was finished and made available to traffic on November 12. At the time, the construction's overall cost was merely 77 million US dollars. Due to the accident, the bridge figure frequently surfaced. An earthquake was the root cause of this incident. On October 17th of that year, San Francisco had an earthquake with a 6.9 magnitude. Pier E9 of the East Bridge was destroyed by this earthquake, and one person was hurt when the upper deck below collapsed. The United States built a new bridge adjacent to the East Bridge because it was severely damaged in addition to mending it and strengthening the West Bridge to be earthquake resistant with the intention of demolishing the old bridge once the new bridge was complete. However, the idea has undergone numerous revisions, and the construction is not moving quickly. The new bridge's construction wasn't finished by 2009 though. Two steel tie rods unexpectedly broke off and dropped off the bridge deck on the evening of October 27, 2009. Just a section of steel beams was being put. The California Department of Transportation completed a full repair when it opened in December to support the damaged eye rod. At this point, the U.S. has lost faith in its own technology and has rapidly spent a lot of money to seek assistance from elsewhere. Japan has done a fantastic job of being earthquake resistant because it's frequently struck by earthquakes. But Japan is making good progress in constructing earthquake resilience. Although the construction has certain distinctive elements, large-scale sea-crossing bridges haven't had much experience. China has extensive knowledge of building homes, bridges, and roads. There must be a location in China for the renowned link buildings. In the end, the United States discovered China and relocated the bridge's Central East segment. China received it, but because the first asking price was too low, it was outright refused. China finally gave in to American demands after extensive negotiations. The Chinese manufacturing sector's first foray into the global market for huge steel structures is likewise represented by this project, and they have not disappointed. Shanghai Zhenhua Heavy Industries finished the most crucial components of the new bridge project, including the single tower column and all steel. After being completely reconstructed in 2013, the bridge now boasts the greatest span, single tower, self-anchored, earthquake-resistant suspension steel structure in the whole world. Cost of construction was $7.2 billion. To save at least $400 million US dollars for the building of the new bridge, the California Department of Transportation announced to the media in August 2011 that it has chosen Zhenhua Heavy Industries. Overall, the construction of the new Bay Bridge made it the most expensive, most gorgeous, most challenging, and longest self-anchored suspension bridge in the world. China has demonstrated its abilities abroad previously. The field of engineering has been entirely subjugated this time. It is, without a doubt, a crucial milestone in China's infrastructure's globalization. And that's all for this video. If you enjoyed it, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye!